The Jem'Hadar are originally a pseudo-reptilian species from the Gamma Quadrant that were genetically engineered by the founders of the Dominion, the Changelings. As the founders are inherently all about that control, even the nice ones, it should come as no surprise that they maintain a firm grip on their army. The form of control is multi-layered and in all ways the perversion of nature. They have enacted numerous genetic modifications to the Jem'Hadar that have tailored the species down a path of their choosing, not evolution, and imbued them with numerous traits. It's a list of these traits that this video is going to quickly go through. First up is that they made them reliant on an unreplicatable enzyme contained within a nutrient known as Ketracel White. Either the founders engineered the Jem'Hadar to lack this isogenic enzyme, or they introduced a dependency into their biology. It doesn't matter how it happened, but the Jem'Hadar are effectively at the whims of the founders and their water handlers because they cannot live without it, and the founders control the supply. The second method of control is that the Jem'Hadar are genetically programmed to perceive the founders as godlike and obey any command given to them by a changeling. This level of adherence does not extend to the Vorta, however, maintaining the hierarchy that places the Changelings on top of the Dominion. Biologically, that was not all that was done to the Jem'Hadar. They are born looking more mammalian than reptilian and reach full adulthood in a matter of days before their ageing stabilises. Such accelerated growth is incredible because it leaves no ill effects on the developing individual and their minds adapt at similarly advanced rates. They are all male, meaning that there is no procreation outside of the hatcheries controlled by the Dominion. While we don't know if they were always a monogendered species, it seems unlikely. Upon reaching adulthood, they no longer require food, drink or sleep. The Ketracel White compound contains all the nutrients they need to survive, and they are fighting fit, so there are obviously extensive modifications to how they ingest or process nutrients, and that the need for sleep has been removed completely traits which emerged as they aged. Another extreme adaptation to them was their ability to shroud themselves by turning invisible at will. This was not a feat of some cloaking devices in their drawers, but an actual biological ability. Again, its origin is uncertain. It may have been a form of natural camouflage that the species had before they were snatched up by the founders, but it does also create a field effect around the body akin to a cloak because their uniform and carried objects vanish from sight too, and a faint electromagnetic aura can be detected as the only sign of their proximity. Although even sensors often fail to detect this, suggesting it was tailored to avoid scans. Additionally, to aid them as hunters, their vision was excellent, although we don't have a direct comparison. On top of this, the Jem'Hadar were notably physically stronger than humans and had an inherent desire to battle, to test themselves against a foe, growing restless if this was not placated. Their tough scales and durability made them difficult foes to best in combat too, although they were not as durable as a Klingon, it seems. One factor stands out to me too. It seems a deliberate genetic modification to them was to alter their body chemistry so that they were immune to most stun effects. This was an advantage in combat to be sure, but it had the nefarious ulterior motive behind it. It ensured that the only way to defeat a Jem'Hadar was to use lethal force, so no prisoners could be taken. Now I've already done an extensive video exploring the Jem'Hadar's culture as well as other aspects of the Dominion, so I won't reiterate them here. Suffice to say that almost every part of the Jem'Hadar was tailored to the Founders' designs to make them soldiers increased strength, resilience, vision, aggression, the ability to shroud, and the fact that they needed no downtime to revitalise. Despite this, however, their control was not all-encompassing, and genetic variations did crop up, because life always finds a way. Rarely, a Jem'Hadar produced the enzymes from the Ketracel White naturally, but few ever realised this, and their genetic compulsion to obey the founders could be overcome through determination. This has led to instances of renegade Jem'Hadar, which are then quickly quashed by the Dominion, because to the Founders, anything not under their control is a threat. 
Thanks for watching this quick breakdown on the Jim Hadar's genetic alterations. I won't do one on the Vorta because it's not as extensive. Basically, the Vorta are immune to poisons, have excellent hearing, close range vision, share the same genetic compulsion to obey the founders, and sometimes they're psychic. I'll see you next time for another video on Trek or something else. I've been Rick, thanks again, and goodbye.